Welcome to the Karo's Show channel. Who do you trust more, a robot or a person? This question is becoming more and more urgent every year, especially considering the robots will soon diagnose our diseases, perform complex operations, make medicines for us, and deliver them to the organs right through our veins. In this issue, we have prepared for you a selection of the most advanced medical robots that are already treating us. Enjoy watching! Active development of robotic nurses has begun. For example, the Moxie robot is already working in one of the hospitals in Texas. The robot is able to deliver and pick up medications, tests, patient intake kits, a towel, and perform a number of other jobs. The nimble autonomous robot is easy to train and also proactive. This means that he starts to help even before you asked for it, and he is also always in a good mood and tries very hard to please everyone. Moxie is quite complicated so many hospitals use simpler delivery robots. They are usually self-contained carts with drawers or shelves that reduce the need for hospital staff to run up and down the floors to deliver food and medicine. In order for people to understand what and why medical robots are doing now and to learn to trust them, which is important in medicine, Italian researchers decided to teach the already familiar Pepper robot to speak its thoughts out loud. So in one experiment, he was asked to put a napkin, not according to the rules of etiquette, although initially he had to follow them. The robot began to ask itself a series of independent questions and came to the conclusion that the user might be confused. Pepper followed the command anyway, but it became an excuse to have a further conversation with itself. This situation really upset me, I would never break the rules, but I can't upset my master, so I do what he wants, said the robot to himself as he executed the command. At the University of Thailand, ABB's two-armed Yumi laboratory robot creates and tests vaccines against viruses. The virus itself is also tested by robots. Just two machines can perform a total of 1,800 tests a day. The accuracy is 99.99%. Let's go back to hospitals. Their robots are actively replacing janitors. They decontaminate wards in minutes with full-spectrum ultraviolet light, like the Light Strike robot. But engineers want more, so the robots can not only irradiate, but also wipe surfaces like humans. For example, a robot called the Deconbot from Fraunhofer is a prototype of such a robot. It is equipped with a state-of-the-art sensor for detecting the position of metal and reflective surfaces, as well as an image processing system. It is enough for the staff to train the robot once, so that it can work completely autonomously. A Japanese robotic avatar named Melton Alpha is also planned for medical applications in the future. This robot has no legs, but its arms are as similar to human arms as possible, including the location of muscles and tendons. The fingers are equipped with pressure sensors and give the operator feedback, allowing him to feel the objects the robot touches. Using virtual reality glasses and gloves, the operator can perform manipulations that require both strength and delicacy, an important aspect in medicine. More recently, the robot has been successfully tested. Surgical robots are becoming an integral part of modern medicine. The most popular surgical robotic system today, DaVinci XI, has been around for almost 20 years. Using high-definition 3D magnified images and controls that attach to the surgeon's wrists and hands, the system allows surgery to be performed with a few tiny incisions and with maximum precision, which means less bleeding, faster healing, and reduced risk of infection. A robotic surgical microscope with BHS technology was recently unveiled at Guitex 2022 in Dubai. A specially designed head display allows the surgeon to interact with the robotic arm on which the microscope is mounted to increase the accuracy and speed of complex operations. Robotic scope detects the surgeon's head movements and controls the robot's camera accordingly. In front of the surgeon's eyes are two digital microdisplays that display a three-dimensional image of the operating field in real time, and the robotic arm and camera head perform the corresponding movements with high precision. We already mentioned Beijing surgery technology in one of our previous videos, which last year introduced the Shiru Robotic Single Port Laparoscopy Surgical System, the first in China to pass the special inspection procedure for innovative medical equipment in its category. This system consists of a unit with a control panel and a unit with a robotic arm, 
as well as an operating table. The surgeon who performs the surgery is behind the console and remotely controls the high-resolution electronic endoscope and surgical instruments. The system has already undergone successful clinical trials. CyberKnife is a robotic surgical system that delivers radiation therapy to tumors with millimeter precision. The system was invented in the 90s and is now used to treat cancer throughout the United States. It is a radiation source mounted on a robot that directs the beam and maneuvers it so that it can treat the tumor from all sides without having to move the patient. The International Space Station will test a surgical robot that will operate astronauts in space. Virtual Incision's Mira Miniature Robotic Surgery Platform will travel to the station in 2024, where it will first be tested inside a microwave-sized experiment locker. There, the robot will cut simulated fabric and manipulate small objects. The miniature platform weighs about a kilogram or 2.2 pounds and can be attached to the rack of any surgical table. At the same time, Mira can be cleaned and sterilized without any special equipment. The goal of the creators of the robot is to make complex operations available anywhere on the planet and even in space. Mira is in the final stage of clinical trials and is not yet available for sale. Note that experiments on the ISS are funded by NASA, as they could be useful for long-term space missions in the future. The Renaissance system from Mesa Robotics is a complete surgical solution for spine surgery. It increases accuracy, reduces complications, and shortens recovery time. Renaissance is used worldwide for biopsies, vertebral implants, precision treatment of compression fractures, and spinal curvatures. Richie is an open-source robot that is also remotely controlled. The robot comes with a headset with hand controllers through which it can be controlled from anywhere in the world. In the future, this robot is also planned to be used in medicine, as has been repeatedly stated by the employees of the company that made the robot. However, in which particular medical industry, the employees did not specify. The American company BioIntelliSense has shown the BioButton, a compact health monitoring device. It is attached to the body with medical glue. The gadget constantly measures body temperature, heart and breathing rate, activity and sleep levels, and analyzes changes that may indicate early symptoms of a viral infection. Thanks for watching this video. Write in the comments which robot impressed you the most. Like and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.